What's good, y'all? It's Coffee. Tap it back in with another one, man, with an update. And people, y'all, these fast food wars is getting crucial out here, you heard. As, uh, you know, yesterday, the internet lit up when King Push Pusha T linked up with Arby's to drop a diss track at McDonald's. McDonald's in general, but specifically, he was going at the filet of fish, fish sandwich. Y'all remember back in the day they had that, give me back that filet of fish. Give me that fish. Give me back that filet of fish. Give me that fish. You know what I'm saying? These are uh, jingles and marketing and ads. We know it's all so important. There's big bucks behind it, but it's just wild the way things stick in your head. And that's why they're going so hard with this. But it was a next level power move by Arby's to get at McDonald's the way they did. Because do you guys remember back in the day there was that guy that used to do those commercials? It was like either... What was it, Verizon or Sprint, where he'd be like, can you hear me now? Good. And then whatever, comment y'all, whoever he was with first, later he linked up with the other company and was going back at, you know, who he previously flucked with. And that's what the deal is here as, you know, for those who ain't in the know, King Push Push a T is the one that made the iconic, wrote the iconic McDonald's, I'm loving it jingle. That ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. That was King Push, right? Now, he's like, yo, I'm t- I'm tapped in with Arby's. Fuck you, McDonald's. You know what I mean? Your fish sandwich is trash. I ain't working with a clown. Ronald's a bozo. Um, it's no good. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you really, really um, do damage when, when someone defects away and goes and flux with the competition. And um, that's what they did. That's what Arby's did. They got the MC who was rocking with McDonald's to fuck with them. And to be quite honest, man, I, I do want to know in the comments who you rock with just fish sandwich wise, period. McDonald's food quality in general to me has just fell off so hard, you know, but people now what's going on, man. Um, AD a no jumper. And I said this in my video yesterday. I was like, yo, I think AD may feel some kind of way when this news break, because for the longest time, Billy Joel voice, you know what I'm saying? He's been, mentioning Arby's on the podcast right and and he truly seems to really love Arby's like Arby's got them meats bruh you know what I'm saying pause but Arby's got good food man like I really I really rock with Arby's and you know uh, Arby's has engaged with him on uh, social media I remember seeing some tweets where Arby's was like replying to AD and everything and you know uh, reportedly it, it seemed like it was implied something was in the works where AD, you know, um, who's rocking with No Jumper, a big name, that it only seemed to make sense for Arby's to tap in with AD and they do some kind of business together. But they said, nah, AD, we're going with King Push. And to be quite honest, guys, that whole thing that I brought up of how King Push used to fluck with McDonald's, I think that's, you know, hands down the reason why like I mean King pushes that dude period but he references that in the diss track you know what I'm saying he says I'm the one that made the whole world loving it or something like that and real quick side conversation guys the diss track is cold it's cold it might be the ether of fast food diss tracks like real talk comment y'all let me know what you think if you haven't seen it yet I'm gonna pin the link in the comments y'all can go check it out go peep that out but let's see what ad has to say here he's not happy about this people he says uh since arby's betrayed me and chose king push over me for the deal i moved to italy to sponsor a local pizzeria somebody tell mcdonald's i'm ready to retaliate for them i'm ready to come home and bring my talents to a food establishment that supports the people where should ad go hashtag blacks for and then question mark. So um, you heard him. He said, yo, McDonald's, if you're listening, hit up AD. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, like we see in the comments here, let's see what WAC 100 is talking about. WAC says, now this is what I want to see. Now you see why I do something here. The dudes at the parks and garages, another world out there. It's AD said straight to the money, unk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you see that, guys? AD uh, refers to WAC 100 as Unk. I mean, 
someone's probably going to comment and say, Coffee, he been doing that. I just never peaked it before. I, I just, when I always heard Wack call AD nephew, I was always like, I don't know. That's a whole nother conversation. We ain't going to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just an internet nerd making these videos, talking into my jump off and doing what I do. You know, uh, this guy says, uh, whack 100 facts. All black people need to run it up on those passports. Who is Richie, uh, who used to be a part of black wall street, uh, with the game. He's laughing, uh, rock topics. She ain't with TMZ no more. Is she? She's laughing. Rosecrans Vic says Del Taco needs you, bro. Yo, I just had Del Taco the other day. Pretty good. Pretty good. But I'm still uh fucking with Taco Bell over Del Taco personally. Let me know, y'all. But real talk, guys, the fast food wars is serious. You know what I mean? Like McDonald's, as I was just saying a little while ago, to me personally, I really feel like McDonald's has kind of always remained at the top of the fast food uh ranking so to speak because people are just used to going there it just feels natural like convenience all right i'll go to mcdonald's but personally i think i said this in my other video the prices have gone way up and the quality of food has gone way down real talk like arby's is the truth you know and i feel ad man like ad been speaking up um talking up um arby's a lot and we know no jumper is like a a very big platform in, in, the, in the demographic, the audience, the age range and stuff that tap in with the no jumper content hearing like that. AD was a big voice speaking to the people. And now I don't know, man. Uh, Arby's just says we got to go with King push. But what do y'all think, man? Like, do, do you think that they were made the right move going with King push? Um, do you think McDonald's will link with AD for some kind of diss track or what? And, um, you know, that's how it goes, guys. Sometimes, like, you know, getting embroiled in some kind of controversy can be really good promo for uh, one's career. AD, already a huge personality, and you know what I'm saying, in the podcast world. But musically, I, I don't know, maybe him and King Push end up going at each other. I don't know, maybe we could, like, see a, a flat-out, uh, you know, series of videos where each person is, like, trying to bury the 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 competition when it comes to the sandwiches because that's what this is all about i guess between these food brands fish sandwich wars um and i still haven't had the arby's fish sandwich but uh like i said man in my video yesterday uh and once again this is why these um fast food ads and the marketing is such a big deal like real talk I'm not a stupid motherfucker. Maybe you think I am, right? But I consider myself to be a fairly intelligent individual. You know what I mean? Like, I know what time it is. I know what's going on. But just by, like, hearing that Arby's, the diss track, like, uh, King Push repping off for the Arby's masterpiece fish sandwich and talking about, yo, he in the track's called Spicy Fish Diss. That's even a cold name. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the spiciness to an ice cold diss track. You heard? Um, he's talking about, you know, it's a little square with a half a piece of cheese. This this ish is obsolete, like it's garbage, you know? And then I hear the way he's talking about the Arby sandwich and I see the imagery and everything in the videos. Real talk, y'all. I haven't even had that fish sandwich yet, but I'm like, yo, in my head, and, I, and I'm not a motherfucker, but in my head, I'm like, yo, that fish sandwich is fire. It's crazy, right? That's the power of um these ads, man. But um, let's see anyone else in the comments here. Someone says blacks for wiener schnitzel. AD says uh, that got a ring to it. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. Um, Quincy Harris, you had sparklers in the club and a a and a all holla at Wendy's. Yo, Wendy's is good too, but I don't know. They're good. They're good. I I don't, I don't know what do I mean. I don't know. I'll fuck with OG suicide. Um. AD's homie in the comments here, who I still got to see that no jumper interview he just did. He said, "Let's go, nephew. I rock with Fat Burger. They keep it a hundred. Yo, Fat Burger. I never really had. You know, um, where I live now, they have Fat Burger. Comment, y'all. Do you rock with Fat Burger? I remember though, back in the East Coast on that side of the map, I saw some Fat Burger patties in like the grocery store and bought them." took them home and cooked them they were really bad man but you know i don't know but anyways let me end this thing man i'm I'm rambling on a bit much like i do um here we got a couple more comments lol nephew ad i need that 50 push-ups when you get back with them slippers on outside but uh yeah that concludes the video man 
Arby's said, yo, sorry, AD, we're going with King Push. And uh, AD, not feeling it. I'm out here. Sub to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay tuned, daily content, dropping music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. It's coffee, and I'm gone.